Hello! So, straight into it. Today I'm going to talk about last weekend. I went to a Post Malone concert and we were in the VIP. So we have a little badge. It says Post Malone 12 Carat Toothache Tour. Live Nation. It specifically says no backstage access, no admission into the venue without a ticket. Massive VIP. So it says on both sides. It's got a little butterfly. So we had to wear this around our neck all night. Not a catching on the nose ring. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we had to wear this all night. It was amazing. With our VIP um, tickets, we got a t-shirt. So this is the back. It's just a white t-shirt with the big butterfly on the back. I got a large, so that's why it looks so big. And then... <laughs> I think it'll fit, though. But me sitting on the floor makes it look way bigger than it is. Um, and then on the front, it says Post Malone 12 Carat tour VIP. So the exact same thing as the, hang on, at a bad angle. This is the front. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm excited. Um, I took lots of videos and lots of photos. I'm not going to put any videos in this because I do not want to get a copyright claim. <laughs> Um, but I will put, there will be one video of showing just how close we are to the stage and, um, lots and lots of photos. We were in the pit, so here was, like, the center stage, and we were literally against the barrier. It was amazing. It was so good. It's the second concert I've ever been to, and I have now ruined concerts for myself because... I will now always only want to be in <laughs> um, the pit, so totally worth it though, absolutely, um, <laughs> but it was so good, he was literally right here, I touched him twice, I touched him twice, um, the first time I wasn't quite pushed up against the barrier all the way. And there's like, you know, obviously a big gap between the barrier and the stage. So nobody like pulls him down. Um, so the first time he came over to like put his hand down, you know, I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't reach him because my arms are so short. And I was like reaching as far as I could. And Blakey, Blake was like pushing my elbow to try and get me a little bit further. And he saw that I was struggling to reach down. So he went the extra mile and like tried to lean even farther just to get me and I got just the little tiniest the first time the second time because he kept doing this and this throughout the show he came over to us again and I went like this while I was recording and he like giggled which is what one of the photos will be he's just, like really smiling as he looks like directly at me basically because I was doing this and he comes down to match the heart but as he came down I switched to my hand to this, so I got like a full one of these. It was amazing. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything signed though. Like he came around at the end and he was signing things. And there were these people next to us and he signed their things right next to us. And then there were these people over here. He broke a guitar at the, and gave the pieces away. And the people next to us got the like back solid piece of the guitar. And he was yelling at him to come sign it. And he's like, I paid a lot of money for these tickets, blah, 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 like joking around. And he's like, I'm coming, I'm coming. So he signs this person right here, skips over us to get the guitar, and then didn't come back for us. And I was like, what the hell, man? I was so excited. So that was a bummer to end the night, but it was still really good. He threw two guitar picks because he played guitar directly in front of us he threw one and it somebody knocked it out and it landed in like inside the barrier directly at my feet but there's no like gaps for me to get to it so i couldn't 
I couldn't get it, otherwise I would have absolutely dropped to the floor and tried to grab it, but I couldn't, I couldn't get to it. And one of the guards comes over and he picks it up and he hands it, I was like, and he hands it to the drunk girl next to me. I was really sad. And uh, we weren't able to like negotiate at all because she stuck it down her bra and then took it up and licked it and then stuck it back down her bra. So she was very drunk and next to, next to us for a while and uh, kept yelling at Blake to marry me. So that's a very, it's a very interesting <laughs> addition to that. Anyway, the other one he threw this way and the guy directly next to Blake was able to reach just farther than Blake and snatch it out of the air and he gave it to his daughter so and then the guitar was also given like directly next to us so everything was right around us can get it no mm. I was so sad but it was a surreal experience it was amazing and I'm just gonna put so here's the photo I was talking about the one where he's smiling just like looking at me because oh my god he was literally so close to us oh and his opener was roddy rich who i've never intentionally listened to before there's a couple of i'm gonna just put pictures at the end for the rest of this so roddy rich was like also really close to us uh i'll put a couple pictures of him and i'll put more pictures of post and it was just overall 10 out of 10 would absolutely go again and spend the same amount of money. I spent like 500 ish dollars um on our ticket, on my ticket. So, it was like a thousand thousand dollars for two tickets. Um absolutely would spend that money again. Totally worth it. Absolutely worth it. It was amazing. But yeah, I hope you like the pictures. Um I hope you enjoyed me telling you about this. Um, question of the day, which one's your favorite picture out of the however many editing me is going to put up here? And have you seen Post Malone? Do you like him? Do you even know who he is? So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.